I'm reading about Chick-fil-A wanting to uh, change the dynamics of work scheduling. They want to introduce a three-day work week where you work 13 hours a day and then you get four days off. I gotta point out a problem with that kind of scheduling. It leaves very little room for error. Uh, if you can't directly fall asleep after your shift, uh, you're in trouble. Uh, I couldn't do a schedule like that. My, my sleep schedule drifts by two, three hours of in either direction regularly. You know, I'm kind of surprised when I hear, I don't like daylight savings time myself. That's part of the reason I moved to Phoenix, by the way. But I read about how the change every spring and fall causes car accidents and workplace accidents. And I'm thinking to myself, gee, almost every night is daylight savings time for me because of how much my sleep drifts. And uh, these people are worried about one hour. So maybe the schedule is not, just not for me. But there is one schedule change that I think will benefit a lot of people. You see, a lot of people think about working four days. or, uh, But you know what? A lot of jobs really need five days. You need to gather that momentum. I know I would not be nearly as productive on a four-day week. Now, what I do want is a three-day weekend. Why not have both? There's nothing wrong with working five days and then taking three days off. I would love that, except where I work now, I work six days. I would just work six days and take two days off. Oh, that's fine with me. I just need those two days off. I, I, I really don't need to, to work a five-day work week. In fact, um, earlier t this week, I wanted to see if I could negotiate something to move. I, I, work, I work at a tutoring center. I was wanting to see if I could negotiate with the Saturday students to come a different time because I really love working with them. I got um, a sixth grader who's already doing ninth grade math, and I got a 14-year-old who, who's doing calculus too. And I don't want to give them up. And, but I look at my weekday students and I don't want to give them up either. Uh, I got a sixth grader who's already memorized the, the entire periodic table. And so I don't want to give them up. And so I was, I was trying to negotiate with the Saturday students to um, see if I could move them. And I couldn't. And I don't want to give them up. But I do want to have a weekend. So an eight day week would, would be perfect for just that. And I'm kind of getting scared because I really love working with them and I'm thinking about what's going to happen when we finally reopen and, and or we've already reopened but finally it's become a little bit safer to travel and I want to go back to Gdansk Bay, Poland and so uh, I've kind of come to terms with maybe 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 the trip will have to become virtual just like how the work was virtual a few years ago, right? And so um, I don't know but um, I, I, I love all the students I work with. I love my work. I just wish it were more spaced out, right? There's nothing wrong with the, the students. There's nothing wrong with the work. There's nothing wrong with my boss. I just wish days, days and weeks and months could be more spaced out, right? Have the same work, but have extra days in the week. Have the same work, but have extra weeks in the year where I could go to Gdansk Bay, Poland, right? There's nothing wrong. With it. There's nothing to say that a week has to be seven days. There's nothing to say a year has to be 12 months, right? Just some food for thought out there.